Hello everyone, I'm Super Mutant Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me with my kin. Last time, Arroyo foolishly declared war upon us. What a mistake. So, um, we are still at war with the Western Brotherhood, but this war is going to drag on for a long time because I cannot push through their lines at the moment. And realistically, they can't push through my lines either. So, right now we're just going to wait a little bit. We're going to have a good time. We're going to go to capture some enemy equipment. We're going to hold a line. For the most part. Oh, actually, you are still um, not a behemoth. Which, once we get another behemoth, I'll put this division back up north with other divisions. Now, hmm, these guys aren't bad. I threw on some anti-tank, which is was a really smart idea. I just don't have the resources I need to... Well, we could try maybe an attack. Nah, that wouldn't be worthwhile since I would need... You over here, and you over here. So let's go swap this out. So you come over here, and you kind of you guys switch places. That'd be for the best. Um, however, so I moved. I decided to move Betty soldiers to the north, just in case the Washington Brotherhood decides to attack us. You never know. I I don't know when they're going to attack us. They're strong. They got over ten thousand man manpower, a ton of divisions, and we just got to be ready now. Of course, the enemies are going to continue to attack our coasts. Sucks. Can't really do much about it with really, really basic canoes. But, that's why I have these five divisions coming down from the north to help cover some of our bases. In the meantime, mm, I don't have enough divisions really to help to move around too much. I need divisions right here, though, to help hold the line or area from the Brotherhood as well. But we must keep an eye on them, so... Let's swap our divisions around and see what happens. We have the old road done, which we have way more infrastructure, which we love, love, love. But then we want some bone picks, a worthy foe. I could use another general, but we can wait on that. So bone picks. The weapons of our foolish enemies have fallen into our hands, and they shall forever remain ours. The bone picks use special chemical treatments on the bones of their foes, which would harden them into something that rivals steel. This allows for a more efficient use of a defeated foe's body after consumption for more attack. Uh, you know what? Instead of just moving, just just kind of hang tight. The AI is just going to keep attacking, attacking, attacking. Also, I want to let you know I have disabled <clears throat> colored, colored events because we always got a picture of a certain somebody at a certain event on those event pictures. So, for now, I've just disabled it. If the, event, if the thing still happens, if we see that certain individual, we'll say, then, you know, I'll turn it back on. But whatever, just... I would like to see other events as well. So we're good on anti-tank. We need more guns, which we're producing more of, which is good. We're producing some demolition equipment. And behemoths, well, daddy behemoths, our kin, are coming online as well. And Bone Snarl, he's learning a lot. So hope you're all having a good day. I'm having a well, pretty good day myself. Kaiser's Legion declared war on Twin Mothers. We did really, really well last time, surprisingly. Uh, I feel good about what happened yesterday. Can we pierce the enemy? Not at the current moment, which is you know, a little disappointing. But that's actually really understandable, seeing as, well, this division doesn't have any piercing on it. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, I don't want to ruin my... Uh, if I put piercing on, you know, anti-tank rifles, that's going to cost me a lot of manpower. This is 15, you know, manpower per division, which isn't bad, but... Uh, uh, I need to do it. I need to do it, but we don't have a lot of manpower, so I gotta raise my conscription level. And I, I can't even do that, so we gotta wait a little bit. Alright, I waited long enough. And can I tell. I wish. Is there a way to, for my. for this army to get, you know, reinforced stats first above everyone else? If possible, that would be great, just because I want this specific division to get more reinforcements first. Since I can throw on some anti-tank on here pretty easily, even though they don't really have anything on there at the moment. And at this point, it's just going to turn into a slog fest against the AI, which is okay. It could be worse. Can I attack this way? Maybe? Maybe? You know what? If I throw in another behemoth, I will be able to push these guys out. Because we should have enough piercing against these guys. Um, this could ruin the line around here, though. Uh... They can't pierce us, we can pierce them. And they're doing a triple naval invasion. Interesting maneuver. Come on, destroy that power armor. 
Uh, and if you can't, that's okay. Just go and hold. The main th priority here is just to hold the line. That's all I really want. Yeah, see, this is the problem. If I help attack, then they're going to attack me back, which is something I really want to avoid. So, go ahead and last stand. I know I said at the end of the last episode, I don't like doing last stand, and you know what? I still don't. But it's sometimes a necessary evil. So, oh, Yakuza was annexed. Interesting. Wow. Nerino was looking pretty, pretty large. Ah, Bone Snarl. You are a Panzer expert. I don't know what Panzers are, but I'm glad you have it. Oh, snap, that's not good. Immediately begin attacking this way. I don't want to lose that tile. Yeah, I might have... Oh, they went around us. Pale Folk. Yeah, I'll take some stuff, Pale Folk. Yeah, totally. Oh, we're getting attacked. That's really, really not good. As we are attacking. Um, ooh, grab a territory with Annex. Come help out down here, guys. We might be able to push and do well. Hold on. Good. Oh, yes. Yes, Vault City. I'll take some Colt Pistols. Good. Yes, we've lowered this to three. Everyone's dying. Three tiles. And we took the port. That is really, really good. Holy cow. I didn't think we'd actually be able to do that, but thank goodness the AI is... The AI. <laughs> the AI is the AI. So we need a ton of anti-tank. We need more infantry equipment, but getting more and more resources from potential allies is a great thing. Really, really great. Go ahead and keep moving these guys down south. Now our infantry equipment gets even more soft attack. Or, you know, yeah, more soft attack, which is awesome. I need I need to take out the Marler crafts, but I just don't have the divisions for it. Now I could make more factories, which would be important to make. River expeditions. I mean, they're all right. A behemoth known as the Goliath will join our ranks. Interesting. Weapons of the future. I definitely want this. I want more energy weapons, tribal stuff, more zap before, even more soft attack. Oh yeah. The dull home, dump, the dull hum of energy and the flash of crimson death. The future weaponry is what shall carry out tribe for our tribe forward into the future. And let it be known that we shall devote ourselves fully to the task of learning their usage. Yes, please, Bone Snarl, you are a great general. You are very good on attack, though. He's slowly becoming a better and better mountaineer. Now, I was hoping that maybe I could make just enough divisions so that I could potentially take out the Marlurk tribes, and I would puppet them so I could use them, ooh, very good, as a slave coast guard division type of deal, which I think would be very good. But right now, after I've taken Arkata, we do not suffer any more attrition around here, which is amazing. Ooh, refined mixtures. I like that. What do we need to do this? Oh, we need to be civilized to even do thruster robots. I guess that makes sense. Engineering, can't do anything there. Resources, I don't really need resources. Naval stuff, which we will do eventually. I could make planes, but I have a limited amount of manpower. Still doing um, land doctrine. Infantry stuff. Mm. Support equipment. No, before I make a decision. So eventually, we get heavy RCWs in common energy weapon. Yeah. Heavy RCW and Comet Energy Weaponry. Heavy RC... Heavy RCW. So we unlock this naturally. So I, I, I don't want to waste time unlocking this saw. And we get Common Energy Weaponry as well over here, which will be great. So... I could throw on some Recon Companies to help our standard mutants. That might be good. Ah, oh, Night Stalker ta Tactics. Better recovery rate, I like that. Let us get now some Cazador Vemon. I hate Cazador so much. More soft attack and max speed. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, please. Continue to attack, you infidels. You have nothing. You attack with three, four divisions of metal men, and you still can't break me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just stockpile everything that we possibly can right now. Oh, we're going to get a lot more anti-tank. Um, I hate to do this to you guys, but I'm going to have to do that. Oh, good. We can get more manpower. We can start 
slowly mobilizing more super mutants. That'll be extremely important. I do know that the Western Brotherhood is mobilizing more men. They don't have a lot of divisions, but they're mobilizing more men, which is interesting. What is the NCR up to? Blast from the past. All right. Uh, what is Flesh Before Steel? We got to keep an eye on these guys. Because they could go to eradicate the mutants, and that takes them 90 days. And then they get a free war goal against us, and we got to keep an eye on that. We don't, we'd be big dumbs. The big dum dumb dumbs if we don't keep an eye on that. And like normally they attack us again. The Rapids was annexed. Good for you guys. Good for you. Mm. Let's put you down here, perhaps. Just at least one division per tile. More close enough to that. Good. Let them suffer attrition. Let them suffer casualties like crazy. For that is very blessed. See, over here, with the 21 divisions, it looks like we have at least one division per tile, which is good. Even though, overall, these divisions, they aren't they aren't the greatest. They're pretty good in defense. South attack isn't bad. Uh, they need more anti-tank, but once we have enough anti-tank, really, the enemies won't know what hit them. Ah, oh, good. And I need... I should really start making some triremes. I really should. Uh, and I have a cup of uh, super mutant coffee here as well. Tasty. Ah, oh, bone snarl. You should get a pay raise. You should really get a pay raise. Ooh, you're a mountaineer. Congrats. Congratulations. New Vegas declare. W okay. Seems like New Vegas is going on the aggressive. Interesting. Very good, guys. Very good. Ah, weapons of the future. I love it. Tribal Zappa. We have captured but a handful of energy weapons and captives capable of producing them throughout our conquest, and it is time to put them to work arming our best warriors. A warren can only get so far with cudgels and hammers, after all. Very nice, because actually, when you look at the focuses, weapons of the past, weapons of the future, almost the same. Tribal Zappa, Tribal Daka, same thing. More Daka. More Zappa, same thing. Better Zappa, better Daka, almost exact same thing. So, um, good. And I might be joined here by my super mutant cat, Binky. Hey, Bink. Yeah, come on, Binky. Yeah, come on. This chair's for you. You made me move my other chair so you could sit down here with me. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful super mutant kitty. Ah, behemoths. Another big brother. You are doing so well. Your defense isn't as good as the other ones, as the other regular super mutants, but that's okay. That's why we focus so heavily on soft attack for you. Yes? Are you upset that our kin is dying, Bink? Oh, I gotta love the Hoi AI, but I really need to be prepared for the warriors up north. Oh. You know what? I could send you south. I'm going to immediately deploy you down here, though. I really, really need you down there. Need more anti-tank? We make about one... Ooh. Someone almost get hit. Maybe? One a day for anti-tank. Behemoths are doing very well. We make more than one a day for that. And support companies are coming two a day, so we're actually doing really, really well. A lot of the time, it's just about preparation. Yeah, Bink. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Ah, uh, they're metal men. Ignorant. Despite their technological advances. Beautiful. So, we're mobilizing more super mutants. That is key to our success. We could get more stability. I'm gonna wait. I think. I should probably wait. Yeah, so we can get more resources. That doesn't mean very much to me, though. Navy, Air Force. We can't even fit in planes. Industrial stuff. This stuff is honestly kind of worthless to super mutants, so I suppose I could do stuff down here. Encourage weapon production, mobilize the people, basic hygiene. What are we producing right now? Roads are okay. They're alright. I like roads. Roads are good, but that's why we have slaves. We don't need more roads if we have enough slaves. Oh my goodness. Uh, don't build it there, since if we build stuff there, that gets destroyed from rebels. Build it there, and then build it there. That's important to do. Ooh. 
Another behemoth. Good. We can throw another one down here. Two infrastructure. Not great, but not bad. Keep in mind, we are making another, th another three divisions, which would be great. Even better recon. Sure, because you know what? Why not? Right, Bink? Oh, it looks like they want to pierce my line. Sorry, I just had to sit down and close the door after Binky left it open. You cannot hurt the behemoths. Not too much. 10,000. 10,000 dead Brotherhood of Steel members. Ignorance is truly great when you're on the opposite side of the ignorant. But they have a lot of manpower. Good. Let's go even for more Zappa. The energy weapon of this average tribal mutant are nothing impressive, but they are coveted and well-maintained. These weapons are passed down from the warrior to warrior, for when one veteran finds a weapon more suiting his position, his old is passed on to those who have not yet proven themselves. There are no inferior weapons among our people. And that's right. We have This will give us like 20% more soft attack than where we started. And that's a great thing. It's a really, really great thing. Uh, oh, look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's just from the battle group. I don't even have dynamite on these guys yet. Which, actually, I'm making... Hmm. I don't want to throw them on the behemoths, because that does lower their armor a little bit. And our armor isn't great. I want to keep it the way it is. But for you guys, perhaps I could throw on a couple chem companies. Pearson goes down. That's okay. Demo companies. Even a little bit more breakthrough. Eight more breakthrough. Twelve more soft attack. Oh, pale folk canceled on these. That's unfortunate. Recon could be really good as well. A very, very intellectual, or at least relatively smart, troll warring group. Ah, gotta love that copy. So, did our other division make it down here? It appears that they have almost made it down here, and then I might be able to start pushing. This stuff is all worthless. I'm not gonna do that yet. That's There's no point to do that. So... We could expel the Riffraff for more stability. Let's do it. Expel the Riffraff, except keep some of them as slaves. That's that's important. Slaves are important. Um, over here, we could probably actually attack down here, maybe? And honestly, I'm just kind of waiting a little bit for the Brotherhood to maybe attack us, perhaps? Go ahead and start deploying these canoes down here. Ooh. No, nothing? Cool. So we're good on support equipment. That's very good. Do that. Lower you by two again. There you go. Infantry equipment, we're doing very, very well. Do this. Do that. Do that. Do that. And put you down there. Resources. We're doing great. We're doing very great. They've stopped navally invading us for some reason. Not sure why. Bone Snarl, you're level five now. Maybe becoming a hill spider a little bit. He just became level 5. Ah, oh, beautiful. Truly beautiful. Getting more and more army XP. Sounds like there's another naval invasion happening. And we can't pierce them, but... They're not landing. They will not land. You guys... You should actually probably be coming here. Hmm... Anywhere else for now. You might need to come down here, actually. Broken Coast to clear one of the Camelot Survivalists. Good. If I can add more divisions to the 10 division army here, then I can throw these 5 Survivalists up here. Which will be very key. Alright, so what are they doing? Siege ships, good. Hardened by the Wasteland. Do they have any... Okay, they cancelled their Lendlease. That's okay. I have plenty enough en uh, infantry equipment right now. Oh, quadrant searching. Um, very good. Very, very good. Infantry stop. Basic laser weaponry. We get common energy weaponry soon enough. Just by completing another focus. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to focus on... Guerrilla Tactics for more breakthrough. Because that breakthrough is going to come in handy. Because we're going to start running out of super, super mutants or my want to actually mobilize more super mutants. Let's see, can I actually attack this group, maybe? 
Can I? Well, I can actually push them. They can actually pierce us a little bit, which is unfortunate. They do have um, ships to help stop us. Ooh. Oh, wait. We need basic laser weaponry and makeshift squad automatic weaponry. Okay. So we got to work a little bit before we get there. I guess that makes sense. Uh, the realm of the Goliath will be very important when the Brotherhood declares war on me from the north. That'll be very, very, very important. Civilian workshops, that's good to do. Stockpiling, civilian workshops, three more. Not bad. Southern push. Uh, one of the following must be true. Arroyo does not exist. Can't do that. We're kind of cut out of the here for now. That's okay. That's okay. Tribal. Let us get more arms workshops. Rebuilding Willimet Fortress. The Rib Breakers operated out of a series of massive pre-war buildings, which they only ever referred to as Willimet. We destroyed much of this fortress in our fighting, but we shall rebuild it larger and greater than it ever was under their rule. It will be a symbol of our dominance in the area. How are we already at 21 minutes in this video? That's insane. I'm enjoying this too much. Bone Snarl is becoming too good of a leader. Too great. Too amazing. Reconnaissance 2. I love it. Now, let's go ahead and get saws. Uh, you know what? We're going to use these more immediately, so let's get some basic basic laser weaponry. Actually, you don't, you don't even have to move. Just hold. Just hold. Repair. Our stockpile is looking pretty good, except for anti-tank. For some reason, it just takes so much to make anti-tank, so... And they're still trying to attack us. Come on. Oh, our reinforcements. We need so much for reinforcements. Alright, they continue to attack. And we have Cazador Venom for more soft attack and speed. And then we will finish off with Death Claw Ferocity. More, We get Backhand Blow. We get higher Special Forces Capacity Multiplier. And we get more Breakthrough as well as Hard Attack. Let me take a quick look. So, these are not considered regular infantry. If they were, then the combat width would probably be 18 right now. Yes! 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 The Western Brotherhood made a mistake, and they have declared war on the NCR, when the NCR is only fighting maybe the Mojave chapter. Okay, that makes sense. This is going to spell the end of the Western Brotherhood. Call it Arroyo. Okay. I can't ally with you, right? Offer me... You know what? You know what? I, I don't mind if they come in through our lands. The enemy of my enemy is probably my friend. This is going to spell doom for the NCR. And then with the Western Brotherhood dead, we can attack north into the lands of the northern metal people. Ooh, level two. That's the case. Bring it on. And I will take what is appropriate for me, which means probably all the coast. And then the NCR can take the rest of this. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. You wasted your time. You wasted your efforts on me. Uh, Mari Turni. You have wasted time. Wasted men's lives. And I will make sure that I do not waste any opportunity to end you. Oh, good. An encirclement. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. You know what? They're probably going to take that anyways. I would like all of this part of California, though. Because uh, I've done a lot of the work already. I've done 94%, so I feel ob uh, obligated to take, all to take all that. However, I will go ahead and relegate you back to here. So that you can come over here. So that you can maybe move up. And you know what? At this point, let us go ahead. Give me half of you guys. Defend up here. You never know what might happen. And we'll take two divisions. Defend right there. Our northern border should be covered. The NCR has made a grave, grave mistake. Give them stats. No, 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 the Western Brotherhood has made a grave, grave mistake. The NCR. Thank God for these weird humans. It's great when humanity kills each other. It is truly a great thing. Beautiful. Good. Good, good, good. Oh. Something happened. Sounds like we're getting navally invaded somewhere, which isn't good. Oh, that, oh, no, 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 no. You guys go up, way back up north. 
Cover that. Oh, that's not good. Um, that's only an infantry division. That's not... That could be much worse. That's... Yeah. Yeah, just go ahead and go, both come here. That's fine. Keep losing this tile. Don't let Meyer Lurk tribes get it, though. Give them more oomph. The behemoths are doing great. Ah. Oh, I love it. Seriously, Meyer Lurk tribes? Really? Really? This is why I'm going to take you out once this war's over. Ah. Oh, terrible. Actually, you... Come down here. Take Navarro. I hear... I uh, hear... I hear it's a great place to take. Oh, a couple divisions. Alright, so be it. Good, good, good. Oh, uh, we've done 76% of the stuff. Ah, oh, the Brotherhood is cl getting closer and closer to collapsing. I love it. Vengeance will be ours. Ah, rebuilding Willie Met Fortress. From the ruins, not bad. Tribal encampments, pinnacle point. A worthy foe would be good to do as well. Rum of the Goliath. You know what? Behemoth production cost goes down. We're doing that. Long ago, the greatest warrior was known as Goliath, and it was he who brought down the armies of a great nation to kneel before him. Only the intervention of the Almighty was enough to stay his hand, his aggression. But now, there is no Almighty left to save humanity from the Goliath, and may woe fall upon those who would attack his kingdom. This will be important when we go to war with the Western, or the Washington Brotherhood, the Metal Men of the North. This is amazing. I'm glad mankind is so divided that they kill each other instead of our superior race. All right, you guys, come here. If I do, were to do this, this would be a probably a bad idea. Let's gauge it low risk, seeing as you are still only destroyers, your only canoes. Ah, Scorpion's Bite was annexed, but their dogs is looking pretty good. New Canaan is looking pretty large. Uh-oh. Convoys. Ooh. <gasps> oh, thank God. Mm. Alright, Arroyo, you don't deserve anything. Well, of course you don't. I'm going to annex all of you. I could pop at them. No, I want the resources. I... Merle, Myrler tribes, you're not getting anything. Now the Brotherhood. Obviously, I'm going to do the NCR for this. Let's see, you guys do that. You get, obviously, all of that. NCR, you will also get all of this area as well. Hmm, and I think I will at least take all of this. I did most of the work so far in this war, so I, I feel obliged to take this stuff, as well as Navarro. Now, that could put the, us in a potential war against the NCR, but we'll see what happens. I, I think that's only fair. Wait, did the... Um... Let's see. Oh, wait. Where are they? Uh, Western Brotherhood? Is there... There's a lot of radiation over there. Um, did I not take everything from them? Did I miss something? I might have missed something. Oh, that's right. Cool. And that's why I had the state transfer to them all, just in case. And do they exist anymore? No, they don't. Glorious. Thank you, NCR. You have definitely helped us out. Whether you liked it or not, now we can focus on the Meyer Lurk tribes. Glorious. Look at these veteran behemoths. Beautiful, big brother creatures. I love it. Even though I actually don't have enough divisions to help hold the line against all these guys. Oh, that's not good. Alright. Ships. 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 Go ahead and stop doing that. Come back to the sixes. We shall deploy some more ships. Oh, to the sixes. That's good. Oh, we need to repair things. Let's go ahead and repair everything here first. Take out the Myrlurk tribes. And then I will... Hmm. Puppet them? Maybe not. 
I'm not gonna puppet them. I can puppet someone else in, in the end. Resources. I really have not much of a need for resources. Scavenge for more stuff. You never know if we need more stuff. I mean, we could use more anti-tank, but, you know. Oh, we have a surplus of behemoths. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we have a little bit of this. Or these guys. I don't mind throwing on chem companies. Let's do that. Demo. Oh, yeah. Now, I should have done that, because now we need a lot more demo equipment, but... In time. In time. Now, the Meyer Lurk tri Tribes. Oh, we got to... We will have to move fast against the Meyer Lurk Tribes. Um, they have a little bit of manpower, but it looks like they don't have a lot of equipment. Which means, if I move fast enough, they won't be able to do very much. Now, the Western Brotherhood... The Washington Brotherhood. It's... Uh, I mean, with, I mean, our guys don't look great. Oh, wait. What? Come down. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you guys are doing okay. I mean, for our super mutant behemoths, they, once they have all their anti-tank, their support equipment, their demo equipment, they're going to be big, bad bruisers. I mean, just look at that. That defense is good. That soft attack is nice. That piercing ain't bad either. It's not great. Could be better. But it ain't bad. Uh... I always have a lot of political power. Unit training. Science. <gasps> science. Guerrilla tactics. Ooh. Now, I want to core a lot of this territory, but I'm going to wait till we get our focus to do the southern push so I can do all sorts of other stuff and figure out what places I can actually core. Now, we have basic laser weaponry. Great stuff. Good stuff. I recommend it. Let's get some saws next. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're going to need to repair a lot of things. Uh, frankly, even though it doesn't look like we'd have that much of an advantage, we can still probably do pretty darn well for us. Especially with five divisions of these guys. Really good. So either attack from the north and attack from the south. That should be good enough. Oh, they immediately start attacking us. Interesting. Interesting. Take Big Brother. As I shall rename you guys. Super Mutant Behemoths. Big Brother's Other Brother. And then... Um... The Other Big Brother. There we go. We're all kin here. All kin. All family. We've lost six. They've lost 184. Words, numbers are hard. Good. I see a lot of green. I love green. Um, season patriotism. Less division organization for more war support. That isn't bad. Let's go ahead and get more stability. Stability for the super mutants. If you can crush these guys, then uh, the, the divisions over here will definitely die pretty quickly. Do they have any ships? No. So even using our ships over here wouldn't really mean very much at all. And then we can really focus on the West Washington Brotherhood in the north. Which would be awesome. Get Culp Creek. Beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. And we're not done mutating other people just yet. Leave you guys down here to the south. This is becoming very beautiful. You know what? We've got enough divisions for the north. How much longer do they have? They're about a third of their way there, which is fine with me. Now, we might need to cover our waterways. But in time, we shall. And cover our you know ports and whatnot. Good. This is turning out not too badly for us. Of course, we still need to repair everything here, but, you know, that'll come in time. I'm ready for you, Metal Men to the South. Do you want to end up like the Metal Men to the South, you Northern Metal Men? I hope not. The Southern Push Pitman has never attempted to hide his true intentions. He seeks to march southward and punish the descendants of those who destroyed the Master all those years ago. The men and women of Arroyo shall know not but suffering and death should his plan work. Now, we could do this one. Worthy foe and some of the stuff down here, but let's do the southern push real quick. Good. 
Good, good, good. Five things of Super Mutant Behemoth. Uh, let's go ahead and just get another good general for now. Luster Bullet Tooth. Hello, Luster. 60 factories. How many factories does this Metal Men to the North have? Quite a few. Oh, we just unlocked Guerrilla Tactics. I didn't have to do that. Oh. Oh, well. Um, you know what? You know what? Let's get some long bolt. Long boat hulls. We got a little bit of naval XP. Not bad. We are prepared for the enemy. I hope to God the NCR does not come knocking on our door. Because I don't know why they would. They are a beacon of democracy. And they have bigger things to attend to. Pax Romano. The dam busters are still there. Our resources are looking okay. We need more grenades. We need some more anti-tank. But that's pretty normal. Pretty darn normal. We have most of the direct entrances to our lands covered. This could be the greatest event of the Troll War if we can take out the Northern League. Because once we take out the Northern League, those to the north shall most likely, easily, fall. Do that. Modify the government again. I don't really need to modify my government too much. Our government is actually pretty perfect, unlike human governments. They always seem to have problems. But not here. Not with us. No. Let's finish off the southern push. Realm Goliath. And once I can core these territories, which I'm not going to core right now because we get, we get it through our focuses. Once we get that focus, and they start attacking us in our own lands... We get a little bit of a, a bonus, and I love bonuses. Why aren't you defending this territory? Attacking through Port Mall will be a great idea. Of course, the Washington Brotherhood, they're allied with Old Country. They got a lot of ships, which is kind of concerning. A little bit concerning. And how much longer do you have? Okay, not any longer. Cool. All right, just go ahead and march in. March north. They're not attacking across this line, which is interesting. They decided to attack this way instead. Um, for you guys, just plan out a very careful strategic stuff. Um, lost contact, that's unfortunate. Let's go do that. And of course they attacked us, so... Wait, hold on. What's going on? Oh, they navally invaded me. That's not good. Hold on here. Now, I don't like what you just done. So. And you're immediately defeated because you have no organization. So be it. If this is the case, then I shall ramp the attacks up in the east. You know what? Don't even do that. Just come over here. And it sounds like they're attacking us on all sorts of ports. God dang it. Uh, combine first. Which is really quite unfortunate. If that's the case, immediately deployed this behemoth. Oh, they're actually attacked. Holy cow, they just attacked the 60s. Oh, this is not good. Southern push. So be it. Overrunning the swamps. The Mire Lurks hid in their swamps for decades, never desiring to leave them or expand. Brave and powerful warriors, armored in the hides and shells of the mutant creatures they worship so closely. They could have been great warriors, conquerors, but now they are nothing and their swamps are ours. This is my swamp now. I might send some of the divisions south. Yeah, these divisions focus south. The behemoths will be fine with this. You guys come down here right now. I need you down here, which I'm really not too concerned with at the moment. This division will, of course, take out the ports. And, of course, destroy the enemy easily enough. Head south. Head south. Because once we can take these things, it'll be easy. Um, oh. Could do that. Let them expand a little bit. Mutants muster. The greatest threat to our existence, the Washington Brotherhood has today clashed inconclusively multiple times with our mutants along the whole stretch of our border. This in undoubtedly the preface to a wider invasion, the Brotherhood have made it very clear they seek to eradicate ghouls and mutants alike, and so our very existence is threatened. There can be no surrender. So we get more mobilization speed. Division attack on core territory, as well as more division defense on core territory. Beautiful. Holy crap! What the heck? 
We get eight divisions of ten combat with divisions of super mutants. And then Death of the Maw, Prolin's Muties. Oh, oh my goodness. You know what? That's that's great. I'm going to actually use these guys as kind of a spare reserve army in the south. Because I really don't need them in the north too much at the moment. In time, we will. But unfortunately, that is really all the time that we have for today. So, if you like the video, if you like what happened, leave a like. Um, maybe you subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below as we shall continue to expand the Troll Warren and smash the Metal Men to the north and ensure that the super mutant race will rule the waste. Thanks for watching and have a great day.